Hey, this is Mark at the Motor City Comic Con. I'm here with Woody Woodruff of Fox 2 News Sports. How you doing, buddy? I'm fantastic, Mark. How you doing? I'm great. Little, you know, you might not know this, but Woody is uh, quite the comic collector. Yeah, uh, being a sports guy, you wouldn't expect that. But tell us, what kind of comics do you like to collect? You know what? I uh, collect a lot of everything. Right now, I'm into oddball stuff that uh, is a little bit different. I'm looking at westerns. I'm looking at starting a four-color uh, collection where uh, I'm just going after that random stuff. And uh, I really don't know where to start with that, to tell you the truth, because there's so many. I think it's like up to maybe 1,500 issues, and they're all different. So uh, that's my next challenge, I think. How old were you when you started collecting comics? Oh, uh, I was like, uh, you know, a little kid's age when I started. My mom would bring them home uh, with like the Sunday newspaper. So it shows you how old, how, how long ago it was, because there's no such thing as newspapers anymore, really. But uh, yeah, we used to bring them home then. And uh, I think the first one of the first ones she ever brought me was like a, a Spider-Man annual number six or something like that, a reprint of the Sinister Six on the front. And I remember it vividly. And, uh, oh, it was amazing. And, uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, <laughs> so, uh, since then, it has been, you know, comics. I mean, I, uh, I've started out since then and, you know, up until today. So I have runs and runs of comics because I read them. So, you know, I'm in with the stories and I know what's going on and I'm not just hunting down. You know the next hot book or something like that. For an investment, you actually you enjoy well, the book, right? It's it's a hobby that has become something more because you have a lot of them, and then all of a sudden you, you go, don't depreciate. Holy smokes. Well, no, well, unless you unless you tear them up. You know. Look, I have forty copies of Star Wars Eleven. I could interest you in if you you know you want to talk about depreciation. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, yeah, but you know how it is sometimes uh, somebody uh, gives you a collection or you run into one or you buy it blind or whatever, and there's like, you know, 50 copies of S Star Wars number 11. You know, why couldn't it be number one or, you know, something like that? But, ah, yeah. eh, well, you take your chance. So what have you picked up this weekend? I'm here at Gary's booth over here. He's uh, from uh, Indianapolis, I believe, and uh, he's up for the show, so... I'm looking through his half price stuff right now, and it's pretty good. I'm gonna tell you right now because I'm finding out, uh, I'm filling in, able to fill in some runs, and uh, like I said, I'm looking at a lot of his uh, Dell and yeah. his uh, Gold Key yeah. because it's the four color thing I'm trying to start. And you know, if I can get four color, I'm trying to buy it in bulk. To be honest with you, I mean, if I can get like you know, 50, 60, 100 issues of four color. You know, at a good rate, then I'd rather go that route than trying to hunt down every issue. Oh, here's number 673. It's patches. You know, I mean, what the hell? You know, so, you know, I got I to gotta, I gotta think that through before I actually dive into it. Because I don't know if I want all the filler stuff. But still, it would be an awesome thing to try to get going. Now, are you into any of the celebrity guests that come here? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, uh... I sat in with uh, Daryl McDaniels, his group, uh, yesterday. It was informative. It was nice. It was good to hear. But it's not like I'm chasing autographs or, you know, anything like that. I don't really need uh, to have that. I mean, I've, you know, I have my Stan Lee autograph. I have, you know, uh, a Herb Trimpey on, a, you know, a couple of books. But I'm not big into autographs because I'm more of a purist, you know. I mean, it's writing on the cover. Exactly. You know, I mean, honestly, that's what, that's what Overstreet says it is. Right. So, I mean, I don't care if it's, you know, Stan Lee or, you know, whoever, but it's writing on the cover and, uh, you know, it's, it defaces the book. So I, a lot of my books, I don't have that. I do have some that I've come across, but none that I've actually a couple that I've actually gone out and sought, you know, but usually I get like books or something else, you know, weird uh, to get signed. Although I will say this since we're since we're all friends here. Uh, when Neil Adams was alive, okay, he was signing here, and um, I said to myself, okay, you got to bring something that Neil doesn't see a lot of, you know? I mean, you can bring the Batmans, you can bring the Deadmans, the Aquaman, all that kind of stuff. Green Lantern. Green Lantern, all that stuff, right? But I'm saying, hmm. So, I brought the Hot Wheels Santa Claus cover, Hot Wheels number six, I believe, or right? all black cover, Santa Claus, coming down on the, on the kids on the cover. So... I get up the line, pay the money, right? And he comes, he looks at it, and he, he goes, 
wow, I haven't seen this one in a long time. And he starts to leap through it, right? And I had the, uh, the uh, Signature Series guys with me, right? So that when they sign it, it would go straight to CGC. But he's leaping through it, and I'm thinking, oh, man, it's going down grade by grade as he's going through the pages of this. But then I'm thinking, well, it's Neil Adams, so how are you going to tell him, hey, Put the book down, dude. You know what I mean? So Be gentle. Anyway, it came back, I think, uh, eight and a half or whatever, and his signature was beautiful. So oh, it was great. Friend. It was great. So how many how many years have you been coming to the Motor City Comic Con? You know what? I was looking at, uh, I saved the programs. And uh, so the earliest program I have might be from uh, maybe 2000. Maybe uh, maybe ninety nine somewhere in there. Oh, wow, that goes yeah. back. I mean, uh, right? That's it does. No, go it's back. the Novi Expo. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Those days, those were fun days. There were a lot of fun days. So I know you have like a camaraderie. Com- I can't even get the word camaraderie? out. Camaraderie. Camaraderie with your coworker Jay Towers. Oh yeah, Jay. He's yeah. the mayor out here. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing out here to see him walk through here and see all the people he knows. Yesterday, I was shadowing him for a little while, and he was talking to Tony Danza, and then he's talking to Carl Weathers, and then he's like, oh, well, I got to go down here and talk to DMC, and then I got to get back over. I'm like, Jay, man, I'll see you. I'll see you on Monday, pal. You know? uh, we're kind of jealous of Jay because he gets all those he gets all these great interviews, and we, we try to get these interviews, and we can't get it. Well, what do you mean you try and get them, and you can't get it? Well, they're, they're either too busy, or they're just, it's just, we try going through their PR, but, you know, and we just just can't get interviews with him. It's always Jay always gets all the interviews. I think it's because he's with a legit news outlet. If I, mean, I if I were you, I would hang close to Jay on the days that he's coming here. That's good. I, back on this stuff. So then, you, as soon as Jay's done, you say, "Oh, oh, can I? Could I, you know get just one more?" And then it might be okay because the PR people, are, all right, all right, uh, all right. We're an affiliate of Fox too. No, you don't have to say that. You don't have to lie about it. You know, don't don't never lie about it. Okay, I'm a big believer in comic book karma. Okay, so don't lie about that kind of stuff. You got time for a quick story? Sure. All right, okay. I, uh, I have an X-Men number one, right? Okay, and I got it at an auction down at the, uh, what's the mall down in Dearborn? Fairlane Mall? Fairlane, okay, yeah. back when they had the, uh, what's the hotel down there? The Hyatt? Whatever, one of them, and they had an auction there. So, I uh, go into the auction and one of the lots is an X-Men number one with a Journey into Mystery, uh, I'm sorry, uh, an Adam Strange. So what's that? Uh, Strange Adventures? Strange, 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 strange Something like that. Anyway, so it's in the lot, right? So uh, I sit down and I'm like, holy smokes, an X-Men number one. Let me try to get this, okay? So I'm sitting in there and I'm bidding, I'm bidding, I'm bidding. Okay, the bid goes. The bid goes to uh, 1350 okay? Which is, you know, relatively inexpensive now for that kind of book, but I'm thinking, oh, okay, all right. So, I get up there to pay, okay, and the lady charges me $13.50, right? So, instantly, all your viewers and every you're probably thinking it too, holy smokes, we just got a deal. Yeah, you know, now, here we go, here we go, here's the deal. So, the lady makes a mistake, right? I walk out after paying $13.50, but in my excitement, left my jacket in there so I had to go back in and risk discovery again right get my jacket come back out I get in my car as I'm leaving the parking lot a lady hits my car from behind okay so I'm talking about comic book karma this is it right here so luckily nothing happened really to my car but her car was like crunched up and you know she didn't have insurance had to take a police report anyway that's a side deal so anyway that night, I get the call from the auctioneer, okay, about, hey, there was a mistake made at the auction. I'm like, thank God somebody called, because I'm wondering how this is going to go. Am I going to get away with a $13.50 book or what? And he says, no. And I'm like, okay, what's the rules behind that? You know, and he says, well, actually, in an auction, you know, you sign up for it, so they have all your information. And then they say the hammer price is the price you have to pay, even if there's a mistake at the checkout. I was like, oh, great, okay. So I write the full check and give it to him, and it's good. But that is the comic karma story. Always come correct with the books or else some bad stuff can happen. And in this story, I had three bad things happen to me in just the short time until I paid it off in full. Paid it off in full and now I love it. It's a jewel of the collection. Great story. <laughs> it's a lesson for everybody. <laughs> Have fun at the show. Anyway, Woody, it was a pleasure speaking with you. And uh, this is Mark at the Motor City Comic Con.